Can you imagine Joshua Tree National Park without any Joshua trees? The iconic tree is under threat from climate change, and it may be extinct from its namesake park within a human lifetime. The places where they live could become too hot and dry for them or the species they depend on to survive. You see, Joshua trees have an intimate relationship with a tiny moth pollinator who lays her eggs in the tree's flowers, and then she pollinates them so her young can eat the resulting seeds. As the fruits grow, her developing moth larvae eat a portion of the growing seeds, while the uneaten seeds have a shot at becoming the next generation of Joshua trees. The larvae will then pupate in the soil, waiting until the following spring to break out from their underground cocoons as new moths and rise up out of the desert sand to find flowers and start that process all over again. An equally fascinating drama is happening below our feet in the desert soils. Joshua trees form a symbiotic relationship with several species of root fungi called mycorrhizae. These fungi grow throughout the soils in vast webs, helping the trees to gain better access to important soil nutrients and water in exchange for plant sugars. Plants that partner with these fungi are more resistant to diseases and drought, and in some cases have even been shown to share resources between plants or send out alarms about pest and disease through these fungal networks. So my research looks at how the interaction between the trees, their moth and fungal partners might change with the climate or other environmental factors, and I consider how we can best manage for their future survival. To learn more and see how you can participate, please visit www.juniperheroward.com.